A French pilot has been killed in fighting in Mali as the European nation continues to launch their airstrikes against Islamic militants. It comes after Mali's government troops chase rebels out of the key central town of Kona, aided by the French military. Let's now talk more on with this the subject with an independent journalist, Robert Harness, who's in Strasbourg. Mr. Harness, we've seen the French uh, casualty and the intervention uh, only began on Friday. Does this action have the support of the wider French public? I think that as long as the French people aren't too bothered by uh, the consequences of this sort of intervention, they generally favour it because there's a great military tradition in France and they've grown accustomed to interfering in other people's countries. But if, if, if the minute it starts to get nasty, I think you'll find there'll be a very quick uh, reversal of public opinion. I think that the it's not just a pilot's being killed. What is interesting is there is a report that two helicopters were lost. And we all know what that means in terms of fighting these sort of uh, Islamist uh, extremists. They're very tough soldiers, and they've grown tougher over the last 20 years. And uh, if uh, France starts to find that these people have uh, been armed as a result of the intervention in Libya and all the arms that are swilling about in the, uh, in the Sahara as a result of that intervention, ironically instigated by France, then they're going to find it's a very dangerous place to intervene. And incidentally, the latest report is that the town has not been completely taken by the French forces. And even if it has, there's still an awful long way to go till, till the rest of the country is, is pacified. Speaking of Libya, the rebels in Mali were reportedly involved in the violence in Libya a couple of years ago as pro Gaddafi fighters. Can we expect the, uh, expect the bloodshed in Mali to escalate the way it did they? Well, I, I, don't, I don't think so. There isn't as much at stake uh, financially and, in, and, and strategically in Mali. Uh, but, uh, but on the other hand, this is the sort of intervention that could drag on for a very long time. I think what triggered it was the move by the uh, Islamist rebels towards... Bamako, which is the capital where most of the French uh, citizens are. They're most of them in the southern end of the country. And, uh, and I think Holland felt he had to do something to protect them. This situation has been going on since April uh, of last year. Um, and it's very awkward for the French because here they are fighting Islamist extremists in, in uh, uh, Mali. Uh, in, in Syria, they're supporting them. People who go around singing songs praising Ben Laden are the people who are being armed and supplied and helped by the French special forces in, in, in Syria. I mean, the situation, if it wasn't so ghastly for the inhabitants of these countries, would be comic. Mali requested French help in, its, in this ongoing battle against the militants. How do you see this military relationship developing? Well, I mean, it's quite interesting, isn't it? Mali has requested help and they get it instantly. Uh, when the Central African Republic requested help from the French uh, forces there, they were told, oh, no, we can't interfere to, to help any particular regime. We're neutral. Um, it, it, the, 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 if, if you had wanted to destroy the credibility of France and the Western countries over the last five or ten years, you couldn't have done a better job by the absurd contradictions of, of what they do. Meanwhile, in Somalia, two soldiers have been killed during a failed hostage rescue attempt. There are still yeah. nine French hostages currently held across northern Africa. Do you think this failure will cause France to reassess its methods? I, th I think it, it, it is a lesson, a sharp rap over the knuckles of public opinion, if you like, to remind people that wars, as Winston Churchill reminded everybody a long time ago, are very unpredictable events. And if it wasn't for the fact that the other chap thought he had a chance, there wouldn't be a war. And these, are the, these Islamist extremists are very experienced, very well armed and very determined. Robert Hannes, independent journalist, live from Strasbourg. Thank you for your time. Thank you.